A block is a modular unit of content that can be displayed anywhere on the page. Content blocks are sometimes referred to as static blocks or CMS blocks as well. And they are used to display the information that is fixed like text, image, embedded video and dynamic information that is provided by a widget. Most elements on the home page are blocks and can be managed easily. So in today's video tutorial, we'll be checking out how we can uh, create a block and how we can position it in the Magento 2 default system there. But before I proceed further with this particular video tutorial today, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. And if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. So let's hop on to the backend panel of the admin and let's see the workflow thereafter. So here we are on the admin backend panel. So what I'll be doing initially is I'll be showing you how to add a particular block and then I'll be showing you how to position that particular block on the home page and then on the category pages as well. We'll be creating a block and we'll be adding some fixed information within it or fixed content within it like a slider and some text there. So to do so, let's first log into the admin backend panel by entering the username and the password and tapping on the login button thereafter. So after we have successfully logged into the admin backend panel, what we need to do is we need to navigate to the content section and under content, we'll go to blocks. Under the blocks, you'll find the complete list of blocks that you've already created. If it's the first time that you're coming to this particular section, then this particular section would be empty as you can see right now. So we couldn't find any records is being displayed here. To add a new block, what we need to do is we need to tap here on the add new block button. So tapping on the add new block button would uh, bring up the particular section to add a new block. So in today's video demonstration, we'll be checking out how to create a particular block, how to add that or how to position that block on the uh, website homepage and on the category pages in this particular demonstration itself. So for the new block here, you can see that it's already been enabled. Enable block is set to yes. Now let's set the title of this block. Let's set it as slider test block then we'll have to after setting up the block title we have to set up the block identifier so i'll set it as slider underscore test underscore block then we have to choose a store which for which this particular block would be available for so i'll choose it as all stores and the default store view then we have the edit with page builder now if the page builder has been enabled by the admin from the backend panel then the page builder would be available here for the admin to use and the admin would be able to set up the fixed information for the block there that can contains basically text images embedded video and much more so let's tap here on the add with page builder so what i'll do is from the layout i'll choose a row first after dropping the row what i'll do is i'll go to the elements and i'll be adding a text here so let me set it as this is a test block text content now what i'll do is i'll just go ahead and i'll be adding two columns here to this particular section here so i've added two columns for each column what i'll be doing is i'll be dropping from the media from the elements i can make use of text heading buttons divided html code from the media section we can use image video banner slider and a map as well so for this demo let me choose a slider for this first uh, column that we have and a slider for the second column as well so for the first uh, column uh, i'll be adding the first image for the slide so i'll tap here and i'll be tapping here on the upload image i already have a few demo images here so i'll be choosing uh, them up so here i'll be choosing the watch so i'll select the watch first I'll be setting the text here for this uh, slide image. Uh, watch on sale. It's not visible. So what I'll do is I'll change the color to this. So that is vis vis visible. Now I'll tap here. And what I'll do is I'll tap here on the ads another one. So this is the second slide that we're going to add. I'll tap here and I'll tap on the upload image button. Now let me upload another image here for the landscape. So I'll just choose that up. Then I'll set up the slide text here. 
We can also add a URL for the uh, slides as well, so that whenever the customer taps on them, they are redirected to a particular page or a, a URL there that you have set up in the configuration settings there. You can also add a particular button here as per your own requirement or you can insert a widget as well within the same as per your own requirement. So I've added two slide images as you can see a watch and a landscape. Now let me add here two images of one of a red t-shirt and one of a green t-shirt here. So I'll just scroll down, I'll choose a green t-shirt. I'll set this text green t-shirt. So this is just a demo to show you how we can add the content there. So I'll add another one. I'll tap here. I'll tap on the upload image. I'll scroll down and I'll choose the red t-shirt. So now you can see that for this particular blog that I've created, I've added a text content here. That is text. That is, this is a test block text content. I've added two slider images for the first column. For the second column, I've added two images. That is one green t-shirt and one red t-shirt. Now what I'll do is I'll just uh, close the full screen and I'll tap here on the save button and this particular block would be saved. So that's how easy it is to create a particular block with fixed information there as we have already created as you've seen just now. So the block has been saved. Now if I go to the particular section that is content and blocks, we'll find the particular block being displayed here under the block list. So the page is being loaded. So here is the slider test block that we had just uh, created. Now let me show you how we can position the particular block on the home page of the website and then we'll see it uh, then we'll see the same for the category pages as well so for the home page what i'll do is i'll go to content and pages on the pages section what i'll do is i'll go to the home page i'll scroll down i'll select the home page that we have and i'll edit it up after editing it up I'll be scrolling to the section that says content and here I'll tap on the edit with page builder. Then here you can see that we have CMS homepage content goes here. Now if I go to the homepage at the store from the same text would be visible on the front end. CMS homepage content goes here. CMS homepage content goes here. Now after that we'll be adding the particular block. So I'll tap on the settings option there. And then we'll see the edit HTML code section. So this is just a bit taking time there. Now I'll just go to the next line and I'll tap here on the insert widget. For the widget type, I'll choose CMS static block. And here I'll be choosing the block by tapping on the select block. Here is the slider test block that we had created. I'll select that up and I'll tap here on the insert widget. I'll tap here on the save button. I'll close the full screen. I'll tap here on the save for the home page. And as soon as the home page has been saved, then we can go to the front end and we can refresh the front end. So you can see that the page has been saved. Uh, saved. Now if I refresh the front end, you'll see the particular block being displayed here. This is a test block text content. The text is that we had added within that particular block with the fixed information and here we are having two sliders as you can see in two columns with two different images with two different images there. Now let me show you how we can position the block on the category pages. So for example, let's go to the uh, watches category. On the watches category here on the left hand side, we have the layered navigation and here we are having the different products that we have but you cannot see any of the blocks that we have added. So let's add a block and that block would be displayed at the top of this particular section here. To do so, what I'll do is I'll go to the catalog and categories. The same can be done for the products as well. So I'll show you that in a while, how you can position the blocks on the category and the CMS pages and on the product pages with the block references for the product pages and category and CMS pages block references where you can add the particular blocks to within the Magento Luma theme itself. Now let's come back. Let's go to the catalog and categories. Now what we'll be doing is we'll be selecting the watches category. 
So here we have uh, already uh, the default category is being selected. selected. Let's select the watch category. After selecting the watch category, what I'll do is I'll scroll down to the content section. Here I'll scroll down to the add CMS block and from the drop down, I'll choose my block that I had created that was slider test block. So I'll select that up. Then under the display settings, I'll choose the display mode as static block and products. And I'll tap here on the save button. Now, as soon as this particular category is being saved, we can navigate to the storefront and we can refresh the particular category to where the block appear here at the top. So here you can see that on the watches category, now we have the text, the slider, the slider, and then we have the layered navigation and the particular, uh, what we say as the category products being displayed to the customers there. So that was how we can make use of the blocks to display the fixed information on the product pages, on the category pages basically, and on the home pages uh, of the web store there. And I hope that this particular video helped you out in understanding the same. Now, one more thing is there for the category in the CMS pages, you can make use of the block reference, like you can use it at the breadcrumbs, left column, main content area, my cart extractions, navigation bar, page bottom, page footer, page header, page bottom, uh, right column, store language. For the product page, you can use it at alert URLs, bottom block, option wrapper, breadcrumbs, info column, option wrapper, left column, main content area, my cart extractions, and much more sections. So on these sections, you can display the particular or you can position the particular blocks as per your own requirement there. So yes, that was much about the particular video tutorial today for how to create the blocks and how to position the blocks on the homepage of your website and on the category pages. And I hope that this particular video helped you out in understanding the same. If you still have any questions, queries, sessions or requirements regarding the same, then you can anytime get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com as well. Apart from that, if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. And lastly, thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.